Good morning. It is a busy morning today. It is Tuesday. I got back from London Sunday. I had a super second sale on Saturday morning at 10 o'clock and then I left for London at 20 past 10. Didn't film much in London because it's chaos. It was so chaotic there. It was so busy. But we went to see Spirited Away in the theatre and that was incredible. It was amazing. If you love Studio Ghibli, I highly, highly, highly recommend going to see it. I really want to go and see the Totoro one as well now. I came back so tired and I'm just catching up on things now, hence why I'm chatting to you when I'm printing. I have, I've had like an influx of wholesale orders and I have a bunch of super seconds to pack, which needs to be done today. And then I'm launching the sweaters and t-shirts this week as well. Finally, for the flowers, cakes and caffeine collection which I'm so excited about. I don't even know if I've showed you on, on the vlog. I hope I have. If not, I will be showing you this week because this week's all about content creation, taking pictures, taking videos, making reels, making emails, getting the word out there that these t-shirts and sweaters are launching this week. I think it's the perfect timing because the weather is, <laughs> the weather's all over the place. It was like 27 degrees on the weekend and now it's back to being 14 degrees and raining. So you kind of need both a t-shirt and a sweater. I still have my super second sale up, although most things went in seconds. I didn't realize people were would be waiting for things and people were on the ball. I think most things sold out before I even left for London. So within 20 minutes, which is insane but every, like the things that didn't sell out are still up so I have a bunch of stationery I think I have one sweater maybe some art prints so somebody can grab a bargain it's just been a crazy time like I think during this vlog I've done a market which I don't think I filmed anything of at all I went to Amsterdam which I don't think I filmed much of at all I <laughs> I think I've had two launches so far. I think that was the flowers, cakes and caffeine maybe, part one and super seconds. And I've been to London. So I apologize if this vlog is very scatty because that's just, that's how I've been feeling. That's how I've been living in the last month is in a very scatty, chaotic sort of way, but I've been enjoying it. I just need to remember to pick up the camera more because I like to look back at these things myself. And that's actually why I started vlogging in the first place was because I thought one day when I'm old and like lying on my deathbed, I can look back at my vlogs and be like, look at all the stuff that I did. And that's what I want this to be. It's like a virtual moving scrapbook. So I'm really conscious of filming right now because there's people everywhere, but I just got the sample for the Making Magic thing and I think it's actually really perfect. Um, I, speak, I don't know why I'm speaking really quiet for as if everyone can hear me outside, like I'm right opposite a bus stop, it's really busy. <laughs> I'm about to get my nails done, but I think the colours are perfect. Yeah. Um, and I'm actually in shock because usually I have like a bunch of edits to make and I think everything looks really good, so... This will be my next collection after the flowers, cakes and caffeine, which is launching today at 5 p.m. It's a really, really busy day. I'm getting my nails done right now. I have the launch to do. I've been printing bags all morning, um, scheduling emails, scheduling content, making sure the launch goes fine at five o'clock. And then literally I'm off out at 20 past five. And I don't know why it always seems to happen or always seems to fall on a day that I'm going out, like a launch. <laughs> so we're going out to celebrate my birthday, which isn't until next week, but we're going out for that tonight yeah it's hectic but these this is not going on blue by the way this is just what the sample's on it's going on like a magenta lavender lilac color that's the best i can describe it so i'm gonna get that done asap because this is coming up next and i'm back i got my nails done Ugh, my hands look so old got my nails done they're so pretty and i'm gonna go home and cook some lunch and fold all the t-shirts and sweaters for the launch in four hours i think we're all ready to go like i said i feel like i'm always going out whenever i'm doing a launch so i don't mean to plan it that way it just happens let me move you i'm gonna check if everything is okay on the website it's still password protected 
everything is up i just need to change the banner when it does go live make sure the email goes out and make sure the instagram post goes live as well i feel like i've done like three launches on this vlog and i didn't mean to just time's gone so quickly lately 4 57 so we have three minutes to go Okay, we go one minute to go. There's people waiting on the website. It just makes me so nervous knowing that there's like expectations. Hope everyone likes the sweaters and t-shirts. I'm sure they will because I am in love with them. Do I just remove the password now? Yeah, let's do it. Remove, save. Okay, the email has gone out. Let me adjust the banner. Customize. Because right now it says launching at 5 p.m. And it is 5 p.m. Let's change it quickly. When you want things to be quick and they are not. Oh my gosh, there's active cards. I'm still writing. I couldn't do this when the website was on password for some reason. It just didn't let me. I'm gonna make sure the Instagram post is gonna like. I have to apologize for cutting it off so abruptly there, but that is all I filmed before heading out to Bingo Lingo for my birthday. It was the first time I'd ever been to Bingo Lingo and oh my gosh, what a night. I Highly recommend it. We had so much fun dancing, playing bingo, playing games. It was great. 10 out of 10 birthday. Then that weekend, I got invited to the ICC for the It's My Shout Awards in Independent Welsh Film Industry Awards Night, which was so beautiful. I felt so honoured to be invited and get to dress up and wear a pretty dress and walk down the red carpet. It was such a lovely night and I got to go backstage and meet all the VIPs and the winners and the nominees. It was just lovely. If you're looking to get into the film industry in Wales, I highly recommend checking out It's My Shout because the work they do is just incredible. And here's my little cringy red carpet walk. <laughs> I had to put it in, but oh my gosh, how embarrassing. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so what a whirlwind the last few weeks have been. I just made the decision to split this vlog into two, so you would have seen the first half um, previously. And the last thing you would have seen would have been the It's My Shout Awards, the Welsh Film Awards in the ICC. Such an amazing event, I felt so honored to be asked to go as a guest to celebrate like the creative industry although not the exact same industry as my own but just to celebrate another creative industry in wales it was amazing it was such a lovely lovely evening and since then it has been my birthday and my partner booked a weekend away as a surprise so he told me to not plan anything for friday 10 till 4. And I was like, okay, cool. Um, I can go out for food with my friends after four o'clock then on Friday. And he was like, um, no, I meant 10 a.m. Friday and 4 p.m. Sunday. We went to Tembe for the weekend and he booked a lovely bed and breakfast with like a bath in the room as well. I didn't film any of it. It was all such a total shock and surprise. And then it was bank holiday Monday yesterday. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> and then it was bank holiday Monday yesterday. And so today is Tuesday and I've still been thinking it's Monday all day and I was late for my one-to-one -one call this morning. I've just felt so discombobulated and yeah, I've just been trying to do like a million things at once 
today I just feel really behind like I was behind on the Patreon goodie boxes and they are such a lovely box here's a sneak peek of what's Call gone me. in Call me next time. okay of what's gone into them and I made exclusive stickers to go in as well it's just been like chaotic and so I had my one-to-one -one call this morning and I was just saying like it's just like a business catch-up really it's nice to chat to someone about business things and someone who's there to help you. I've also come down with a cold as well, just to make things more chaotic. And as I was explaining things, I realized um, I need to drop some things off my plate or something. And I've been saying this, I've been saying this for the best part of a year now and you're probably all sick of me. I think it's come to the point where I'm, I'm gonna need to have to ask someone to come and help in the studio for a few hours a week. That's all I need. I was waiting until it was a financially safe option to hire some help. Like you need to be in a financially stable position in order to pay someone else to help you, obviously. And I wanted to wait a little bit until I felt really, really, really confident I could offer someone like proper hours every week. And I'm not. I'm not there yet, but I think if someone were to be super flexible and to pop in for a couple hours a week, I mean, some weeks I may not need it. And then other weeks, ideally someone who's flexible, who has a little bit of spare time, someone who's local, just helping pack the orders. And, and if I know that they're coming in, it'll spur me on to do the other tasks that I always get left behind, like growing TikTok, maybe making more reels, doing a bit more with marketing and doing a bit more with emails. And I'll have more time to edit my studio vlogs, which are always, always the last thing on my to-do list is there's so many things on my to-do list. And then there's things like Patreon. Patreon's taken a massive step back this month and I'm really, really, really gutted about it. And I feel awful. I am still getting the things done. It's just like really late. Like those Patreon boxes are really late. And with Patreon, I aim to do an exclusive video per month, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when I have everything else going on as well, these videos are so time consuming. And I enjoy doing them. I really do. And I think the next one is going to be a tutorial all about affinity designer it's just making time for those videos and not just the time to make them and edit them it's like the time to plan them as well it does take a good few days out of everything and during those days i could get a massive wholesale order like what's happened recently i could there's things that always get thrown into the works no matter how strategically you plan your week or your month there's things that always crop up and need your attention so june now in june i will be planning for stationary fast at the end of the month and I'm gonna have some exclusive, good, not exclusive, but I'm gonna launch new things there, like the new stationery addict sweater and t-shirt, which I haven't shown you yet because it's not made yet. Tote bags and pouches and things like that. There's only so much one person can do. And I'm, like I said, I'm still not financially, I don't think it's financially smart of me to hire someone else like properly yet. It's just not, I'm not in that position yet. So because I'm sticking at being one person with maybe a couple hours help in the future per week, I, as one person, you can't, you can't do everything. So I'm going to have to try and, I'm going to have to drop some things or tweak some things in order to make the rest of my business even better. Like I was talking about my most recent launch, the flowers, cakes and caffeine. And annoyingly, the t-shirts and sweaters took way too long to arrive for that launch. So I launched half of the collection in beginning of April, was it? No, end of April. I launched half the collection end of April. And then I launched the t-shirts and sweaters two weeks later. But I think it was just, I had just been talking about it for way too long. Things took too long to arrive. Like the, I built the hype up and then the hype sort of like, I mean, I got bored of it. So I don't know if anyone else felt the same. So I'm trying, I don't want that to happen again. Like I like to release things, like talk about things and release them in the same space as like three weeks. I think that's a nice, it's like a sweet spot, like two to three weeks. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I'm just blabbering. I'm just blabbering. I'm currently packing greeting cards for a big wholesale order that has come through. Lots of Father's Day cards in this one because that is on the 
14. The 16th of June, and once this is done, there's two more wholesale orders that have come in. There's other orders that come in through the weekend for my birthday. I set like a little birthday discount on. And then the plans for this week, tie up loose ends with Patreon. So Patreon boxes are going out. I need to design the next Patreon box as well. I need to do a Patreon podcast, which will be a giant catch up on everything that's happened uh, in the last month, plus plans what the plans are for my next collection, which will be called Making It Up As I Go, which I think is the story of my life. One thing that you guys always ask me is how I managed to turn my illustrations and creations into full-on collections of products. And let me tell you, it hasn't been easy learning everything I know now over the last decade. But I have found some things that I think may help you aspiring artists, designers, and illustrators to take your creations to the next level. I always start with a lot of planning in my diaries and sketchbooks and jump straight onto Affinity Designer to get my creations out of my head and onto the screen. I love to plan my collections using artboards so I can visually put everything together and make sure it looks cohesive as a collection. Over the years, I've been able to transform my artwork into products such as sweaters and t-shirts, pins and keychains, tote bags and more, and it has been amazing. And one guy who has been particularly helpful for me is Aaron Draplin and his class on Skillshare, Design Great Stuff, How to Make Merch. Aaron takes you through the beginnings of becoming a designer and finding inspiration right through to sourcing manufacturers, creating the working art files and making your very first product. From pins to apparel, you can find his classes on Skillshare. Let me introduce you to Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community filled with thousands of online classes broken up into small bite-sized chunks so you can learn that anytime suits you. Skillshare have kindly sponsored today's video and are offering the first 500 people to click the link below a one month free trial. There are so many classes to choose from, whether you want to build upon your business skills or learn something completely new like crochet. Skillshare has it all. This class in particular resonated with me so much as Aaron talks about being a designer and creating things that he wished existed in real life that he wanted to wear for himself. And that's exactly why I create what I create. It's amazing how something from my mind can become a reality. Like these stickers, for example, turning from this into this. And I can't wait to see the rest of the collection come to life. Thank you so much, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Absolutely full of boxes and the boots. Ready to drop off stock at the embroidery shop and collect other bits and pieces too. I've just made a cute little information sheet to send over to my embroiderer for everything that I need done in the next um, two weeks and I'm my fingers and toes are crossed and praying that everything can be done. My planning lately has not been the best. Like I've tried, I have my calendars on the wall, but my planning for things has just not been great. And I'm worried mainly for the embroidery because the embroidery took so long for the flowers, cakes and caffeine design. I do have the making it up as I go pretty much perfected. It just needs one more tweak. But then the stationary attic design, there's not, there's no sample at the minute. So I'm panicking about that. As soon as that sample's done though, I'm pretty confident that everything will fall into place. So because they're stationary fast at the end of June, I'm thinking to launch everything at stationary fast rather than do a launch in the middle of June and then a launch at stationary fast. I think that'll be too much to get done. So I'm thinking to launch everything at stationary fast so that I have the whole month to perfect, take pictures, make content, do marketing, plan for stationary fast itself. Um, yes. Decided to come for a walk at 6 a.m. Um, don't ask me why, I thought it would be a great idea, <laughs> but no one's here, it is beautiful. We're going to go up to the horse, I don't know if you can tell that that is a horse, you can see it from the sky, but obviously maybe not from the ground. Handsome boy. Wow. Good morning. Apologies for the angle. I have no makeup on. We've been for a walk at half past six this morning. And usually I don't see that time of day. So it was so hard to open my eyes. But however, I do think I am a morning person, like deep down. And so after waking up, I thought it was actually quite easy 
to do. So I don't know how long I'm gonna keep this up for. It was just like a one-off thing, but it was so lush to have the field or the park to ourselves this morning. But no one else there. The sun was shining. It's still shining. Um, and I think I just make the most of the day then if I get up a little bit earlier and start doing things. So I'm just packing up a wholesale order now. These beautiful prints. And also the book was better pin and the making magic pin. Um, but you know, lots of them, not just one of each because that wouldn't be a wholesale order. So, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in because I tend to like not film if I haven't got makeup on, um, which is most of the time, like I don't wear makeup just to work from home. But I tend to not film if I don't have makeup on because I don't feel good about myself. And I'm trying my best to stop that because I was thinking the other day, if I had a daughter, and she could see or hear me speak so badly of myself all the time, like, oh, I look terrible today. Oh, I don't look good today. Oh my God, I need to put makeup on. What, like, ideas would I be giving her about herself? Like, I wouldn't want, my mum doesn't put herself down. My mum's beautiful. But I think I would feel even more insecure about myself if I heard my mum speak about herself like that. So I'm trying to stop, trying to stop, so. I don't know if I'll feel confident enough to keep this in. I'm still like a bit shy about it, but yeah, I'm trying to break the stigma. Delivery, which I think from Sticker Meal, which I'm very excited about. Let me just pause Rebel Jones in the background. Let me pop you there. I don't know. So I've had a delivery and I've never outsourced. I've never outsourced my sticker sheets before because the price of doing that is just insane, I think. However, I found a really great deal and I thought, why not just try it? Can I open it? I thought, why not just try it and um, see for just this once. And it saves me a lot of time, a lot of effort when the deal is like that good. So these are my, wow, gosh, they are, they are thick. So there it is. Can you see? I don't know if you can tell, but it's like so thick. Like I wish you could feel this through the screen, but this is the new design based on my next collection. I'm wearing as well. I don't know if I've showed you this. Uh, my next collection will be called Making It Up As I Go. And I'm gonna be launching it at Stationery Fest. And I thought I'd make some matching stickers to go with it. And that's what I sort of released. Oh, they're all gone in the Patreon box as well. I made like matching stickers. The other one said like crochet the day away. Um, and, it, and it all kind of matches my previous designs as well. Like there's a design and thriving one. But yeah, these stickers are so thick. They're like sort of plasticky. Let's peel up. Wow. Gosh, they're like so premium. Um, I don't know if I would pay like full price to get them done. I mean, not saying they're not worth it. They're absolutely worth it. They're stunning. But considering I have a Cricut here, I mean, it's great. But I don't know if I'd pay a full price just because I have a Cricut, but because I had them like in a deal uh, from Sticker Meal, I am so impressed. So excuse my printer in the background. I've also had a delivery for washi tape. Now this will be a big restock of the Making Magic washi tape, but also my new Making It Up As I Go washi tape. By the way, I don't know if I've mentioned this sweater is pretty much perfected. However, I just asked for this design to be lifted up a little bit so it sits more on the chest, just in case you're wondering. Um, but yeah, the Making It Up As I Go collection is launching at the end of the month in Stationery Fest and I've ordered in new washi tape and a restock of Making Magic. So let's, fingers crossed that they look okay. I mean, fingers crossed they look perfect, not just okay. Okay, so this looks like the restock. Oh, it's a mixture, okay. This looks like the restock of the Making Magic Washi that is pretty much sold out. I have four left. So I need some for wholesale orders and a ton for stationery first. Here they are. That is the Making Magic. Let me just focus it. It's not gonna focus. That's the Making Magic washi tape anyway. It's so pretty. And then 
we should have my first foiled washi tape. Oh, the foil is like really foily. Don't know if uh, you probably can't see very well on there. I'll do another shot now of it. I'm going to open it. So I'm going to try and unroll a little bit for you. Look at the foil. So sorry, let me turn this blur off. I actually see that foil. It is beautiful. And we got this little bit here as well. Oh my gosh, this is so special. So I just got back from the embroidery shop and I've picked up a bunch of sweaters that are ready for Stationery Fest. And this is for the Making It Up As I Go collection and the Stationery Addict collection. And I've started to share like sneak peeks of it now because I didn't want to drag this collection out for too long. I just wanted to start showing bits now to build hype for the end of the month. So today is like the 6th of June or 7th? It's the 7th of June and Stationery Fest on the 29th. So I want to start like sharing bits and pieces now from the newest collection and so the sweater the stationary attic sweater was um you know i think i showed you the, the design the mock-up i'll put it here and the idea was to have this like cute little to-do list on the sleeve which is here and i loved the two to-do list items and the last bit said something like buy more stationery and that the idea was to have that embroidered on the sleeve as like a little like personal reminder to yourself However, we've come across an issue where the sleeve doesn't quite fit into the ring that they have because the bottom of the sleeve is just too small. I previously did a love heart design on a sleeve, but that was better because the ring they could use for that was smaller. But the to-do list is bigger and doesn't fit in that small ring. you got to go on a sleeve ring, but the sleeve ring is too, I guess, too big. Oh, the sleeves are too small to fit. Anyway, long story short, I can't get that exact thing embroidered so i'm thinking do i either print this to-do list as it is so it'll be like a dtf transfer on the sleeve and the embroidery on the chest or do i think of a new design that's smaller like a very small thing maybe saying like note to self you are enough note to self you're amazing just a very small text piece of embroidery i'm not sure whether that's still gonna be too many words though to go in such a small space i don't know but how would you feel i don't know if this, this video is going to go out too late to get your answers but would you rather the to-do list as it is printed on the sleeve or something small embroidered on the sleeve or nothing at all does it need anything i don't know anyway let's get out and i'll show you what i got so these are the blanks for the I'm going to print the making it up as I go design on there. Then we have stationary addict there, which is looking gorgeous. And I also have a bunch of, that's a, a seconds, but a bunch of making it up as I go sweaters as well in this gorgeous lavender. So I am really excited about this launch, really nervous. I think this is the collection that I have loved the most out of all of them. I know I say that every single time, but this I think embodies everything that I am as a creative creator. Hopefully you guys like it too. I really love everything about it. The tote bag that says caffeine and creativity, stationary addict, making it up as I go. It has everything on there. I love that it's black and white as well. But then I also love the colors of the new things that I'm making, like the sweater, the t-shirt that I'm hopefully going to have soon. The enamel pin is coming soon. The washi tape that I had yesterday with a gold foil on. The stationary attic jumpers, like everything is lush. I'm going to figure out what I want to put on the sleeve of the stationary attic sweater. Yeah, and this will be my first like in-person big launch. Like I've never launched an entire collection at an event before. I've launched products. So I launched like my craft pouch 
and my mugs at John Lewis Christmas time, but I never launched, I've never launched an entire collection in person. I think it's gonna be so different. And I think thinking of things like my display and how I'm like my signage and how everything looks in person compared to online on a website is gonna be so different. And then I'm gonna have to think about how I wanna launch everything online after stationery fast so making it up as i go and stationery addict will be available in person at stationery fast in manchester on june the 29th after that i think i'm gonna need to calculate stock levels and like get my bearings and then decide on a release date for my website so i'm hoping i mean if things don't sell out the things can like i can release them in the same week like the first week of july but I don't think things will sell out because I've ordered a lot of stock. But then I am being careful as well. Like I don't wanna go overboard and, and get too much stock because it's a new collection and I'm like testing, I'm testing to see how it goes. So I don't know, I don't know. If things sell out, it might be like mid July, end July for a launch online. But yeah, there's just lots and lots and lots to think about. So I'm gonna end this vlog here and think about it, figure out the sleeve and get ready for stationery fast. And I will bring you along with me. I will show you all the behind the scenes, all the prepping and hopefully the event at stationery fast as well. Yeah, so I will speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you to my Patreons who have helped me all the way through this collection and previous collections. They helped me with everything. Thank you so much. Mochi's trying to get in now. <laughs> and I will speak to you soon. Excuse me.